Let me think. Of, give you a couple of couple okay. of examples of things that I can do. This. Just tell me what what car this is and what the system is. This is a 2011 Ford Edge, and the system we're looking at here is called My Ford Touch, and it's the newest system from Ford based on Sync technology, which is uh, Ford's platform that's built on Microsoft's embedded technology. Yeah. <laughs> uh, some of this, some of the things that uh, we have done with Sync in the past, uh, we can do with this system as well. Uh, is that a fr friend of mine message, giving me a text message? Does uh, it not read them automatically? Uh, I could read it. I don't know what it says. Did ten men sent us invite? By the way, we have brunch at Pranish on twentieth. So this was uh, my girlfriend actually just asking me, a uh, friend of mine, uh, send an so invite out for dinner. When the ding came in, you pressed the OK button. Um, so, let me give you just a quick introduction. So, the My Ford Touch system includes the the information in the center stack here, um, including this touch screen. But also, there are two displays in the instrument cluster, uh, which uh, two displays in the instrument cluster, which are also coordinated with. Uh, the center system and so when I got that message uh, I basically selected a menu item that was already up in the instrument cluster with this OK oh, button and it and it read the message so that's that's why I pressed that OK button um, one of the interesting things about uh, but beyond obviously the coordination of the displays here one of the interesting things about it is the sync services uh, which this connects to so I, I can actually, with voice commands, connect to a tell me uh, based set of services and actually program the navigation system, which is what I'll do uh, for you right now. Please say a command. Services. Connecting. So it's connecting to the internet? So this? right now it's connecting over my phone. Which is a Samsung, which is a Samsung Focus. Focus. Do you want? We're just dialing the phone number. Directions to home. Directions to home. If that's not right, press the voice button and say go back. That's exactly right. So, in the U.S., okay. uh, a relatively small percentage, it's about a quarter of phones, actually have data tethering enabled. And so, because we're not Downloading. transferring a lot of data, uh, we actually just make a voice call and we use old dial-up modem kind of technology to actually send data back and forth to uh -huh. the car. And that works with every yeah. every phone with Bluetooth. Anything with Bluetooth. Yeah, yeah anything with Bluetooth. So it downloaded Download the... Download complete. You may now use your phone. It downloaded the the destination to to the car. Uh, I can I can speak set as destination, but I, I can also hit that button. And the navigation system is programmed, so I don't have to enter addresses and things on the screen here. So you could have done that from the steering wheel too. Uh, I could have done that from well, I did, basically I did it with with voice. I could also program uh, the navigation system through the the display here as well, uh, and I can also speak an address if I wanted to speak the address to to enter as the destination. Okay. Um, but that's kind of that's one of the new things that this does. Some of the other stuff, uh, if you've seen Sync before. Uh, making phone calls or controlling media, controlling my Zoom that's in the, the, the armrest here. Can you control uh, media well. on your Samsung Focus? Uh, no. Well, so I can pause and play Bluetooth media. Through A2DP? Exactly, through A2DP. Uh, but I can't select... So like I can say... Please say a command. USB. USB, say a command. Play artist, no doubt. Playing artist, no doubt. So I can do that over a wired, over a, a wired media device that's plugged that into the USB port. The but I can't Zoom do that HD. over Bluetooth. That's on the Zune HD exactly. I can also control Sirius. So this has a, has Sirius XM in it. So I can tune to Sirius stations. Please say a command. 
Sirius XM Chill. Sorry, please say a command. Sirius. Sirius, say a station name or number. Sirius XM Chill. Tuning to Sirius XM Chill. So I can, I can, I can say the names of the stations. I don't have to necessarily know the number yep. uh, of the station and tune to it. And I can do the same. I can tune to radio stations with voice using the same, speaking the frequency um, as well. Is this uh, your number of text messages on that, the phone? The seven is the number of text messages that I've received since I've been in the car, basically, yeah. And that's your battery level? Battery level, signal strength. Uh, the little symbol here means that 911 assist is enabled. So if I get in an accident uh, over my Bluetooth phone, an emergency call will be made and the position of the vehicle is automatically sent to the emergency services. Um, I can control, you know, the, so the full kind of heating and, and air conditioning system is controlled through the system as well. I can... Uh, Please say a command. Climate temperature 68 degrees. Did you say 68 degrees? Yes. Setting temperature to 68 degrees. So I can kind of control everything through the system and, and almost everything through voice commands to kind of help people focus on, on driving. What else can you do with the phone side? Uh, phone side so I can call Please say a command. Call Manuela Papadopoul on mobile. Calling Manuela Papadopoul on cell. So I won't actually okay. complete the call, but uh, I can dial digits. So, it, but it's reading your Please address. Please say a command. Me. Yeah, so it's basically cancel. Canceling. It's downloaded my contacts from my phone, uh, built a voice grammar out of all of the all of the uh, names, so that then I can kind of just speak the name and which phone number I want to call them on. I can also just speak the name and it'll say, "Do you want to call them on home, work, or or cell?" And and I can. Uh, can you send a text message to them from voice without taking your hands off the wheel? <laughs> I can. Please say a command. Phone. Phone, say a command. Send message. Three over 25. I don't, know what that, I don't have the text message commands off the top of my head because I never do it. If you got a text message, could you reply to it using voice? Yeah, so this... Um, Did Ken Men sent us invite? By the way, we have brunch at Pranish on 20th. So that's the message we heard earlier, right? Yep. Please say a command. Reply message. Replying to 142564. Do you want to send message? 15 to 14. Cancel. Canceling. I don't know the commands to do it actually. This is a development system, but you're, you're sub you should be able to reply using using voice. I, I, I just haven't done it. Uh, but can you only choose these options? Or? When, when you're re when you're replying by voice, you can only choose one of the pre-configured options. Uh, but these are customizable, so you can. So there's 15 here that are sort of um, uh, yeah. come default in the system. Uh, but I can actually customize them on a website and bring a USB key in the car, or I can edit them here. Um, yeah, edit text. Uh, I can actually edit them here when the car's not moving. So this is all disabled when the car's moving, and I can I can put in uh, the text that's whatever is my yep. text that I want to be. So I can create a, a custom set basically. Okay. Uh, one of the things that Ford did with this system is they've uh, started a concept of four corners of the screen. And actually, 
because it's easy to feel. It's easy to feel, and they're actually color coded uh, both with so media, or, you know, the media stuff here and here are the same color. Okay. Climate, navigation are the same color, and so kind of part of it is to associate colors with specific functions, but also, as you say, it's it's a little bit easier to kind of. Uh, when you're using a touch screen in the car to kind of go for a corner of the screen yep. than a more precise button input. So you don't have to look at the screen, you can just feel this corner. Exactly. And press Off that. route. Exactly. Oops. You hit the repeat uh, <laughs> <laughs> repeat navigation instruction, but yes, exactly. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, so it helps, uh, helps with that a little bit. Obviously one of the issues with touch screens is there's no kind of real tactile feedback of, yes. the, of the input and, and uh, so that's one of the ways they're trying to address that actually. All right, sounds good. That's our, what do we call this again? My Ford Touch. Is there a version or something? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the latest My Ford Touch on Built on 2011. Sync. Yep, built on sync. All right, thank you very much. Yeah.